Hello, 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 everyone. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. And this is my review for the season finale of Empire that came out earlier tonight. It is currently 1.30 in the morning. And Jay Lee is very, very tired. But I'm like, let me go ahead and get this review done um, before tomorrow. So... Oh, if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel. I'm usually not this um, emotionless or <laughs> this relaxed, relaxed and subdued when I'm very tired. But I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. My hair is looking crazy. I hope that you subscribe to my channel. Um, it just lets you know when I have new videos up. It doesn't cost you anything, and I love new subscribers. So, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe by hitting the little subscribe button in the corner. Um, the season finale wasn't what I thought it would be. Um, it was very almost predictable, but not predictable, I guess. Um, predictable meaning everything happened that was supposed to happen but not predict predictable because some things were still shocking um you know let's start with you know mama lion i can't you know lucia's mom finally is showing her crazy um as we see she killed Tariq in last week's episode it's my notes uh, she she killed Tariq in last week's episode. So, Lucius has her, you know, kind of held up until she's back on her medication. And, you know, he's just trying not to let her be out and everything. And what is she doing? She's sitting around in the house and the body's still there. So, you gonna just have a dead body in the crib? Like, y'all didn't move the body, bury the body. I just don't get why the body's still sitting there. But, you know, whatever. Um... Mama Lucius, Mama Lucius, Mama Lion is smart because she also was smart enough to have Anika put her hands on the murder weapon. She wasn't trying to get Anika to open that mail with that mail letter opener for no reason. Yes, she planned that. She don't like Anika. She wanted Anika dead or gone, just like she wanted Tyreek dead or gone. So she didn't kill Tyreek. So now she's like, okay, I didn't kill him. So let's just send Anika off to prison. Um, <laughs> it's because Anika, you know, I don't know how I feel about Anika. But, you know, when she had her, oh, open the mail with the letter opener, I was like, that's the damn murder weapon. She slick as she slick as a can of oil. She's 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 smart. Yes, yeah, she really is. Um. So and then even towards the end, you see how when she called Anika, and she get Anika to tell her where she is. She has it planned down to a T. I killed Tyreek. I have Anika put her her fingers on the murder weapon. Of course, she gonna call the police and say, "Hey, he did. She did it." This is where you can find her. And that's what she did. Because, you know, it's towards the end. Um, this, this season was kind of... The season the episode was a little bit all over the place for me. Um, you know, even with them showing how calm Anika was. Which was very weird. Um, for how calm she was. And how Hakeem was not calm. He don't want to do anything until they find baby Bella. Which any parent, you know, that would be the whole thing of how you would how how you would be um so that whole aspect of it to everyone going to vegas for this whole lucius show at vegas but whatever um andre showing his craziness skills because he's still popping up at the commissioner when she with her husband and children see those them the kind of men you have to watch the ones that you sleep with on a secret sly tip and then they be popping up out the blue trying to get you caught up in a rapture mm-mm don't trust them kind of men. Walk away because they dangerous. And what did the commissioner figure out? That it was dangerous because what was Andre doing? Recording them having sex so that she can blackmail them. It was just, you know, I didn't expect to see that coming. So that was a pleasant surprise. Um, so that part was one thing. And then even with Lucius signing that paperwork for the whole Vegas thing and how he then told Cookie she can come. I, when he said that, I was like, something's up. He, he gonna get rid of Juliana. I figured that out when he said that because he made sure to have Cookie there for some reason. Um, 
so that part kind of was like, okay, yeah. I didn't get when they had the whole lawyer who happens to be gay singing to Jamal. At that time, I was like, that's weird. That's stupid. Why is this man is out the blue singing to Jamal? Jamal got a dick problem. Jamal needs to stop slutting it up because he keep getting himself caught up because he like penis. And he needs to just stop it. It's just stupid, Jamal. Just, it, it gets you in trouble every time. Like, come on. It's just, cause I'm like, there's something not right with that. And I'm a genius because guess what? The little gay lawyer man is a Dubois. He's the brother of... You know, he's Claire Huxable's other son. Yes, I call Felicia Rashad, Felicia Rashad, Claire Huxable. Um, but he's, you know, a part of their family, and they're trying to get their fingers into everything. So, but you also see how Theo, I call Tay Dix Theo, because I can't ever remember his name, um, is now on board with bringing the lions down. It was just surprisingly good. I liked that twist of it. Um, Anika's a snake. And Hakeem is stupid. When you see Anika go to the Dubois house and she's talking to Claire Huxwell and she knows they have Bella. And you see why she's been so calm. You also see Hakeem busting the door because what he been doing following Anika because she been too calm he knew something was up. So he find out that the Dubois do have the baby Bella and she's safe, but they want him to do something in order to get her back. It's a hard decision to make a choice between your, your children and your family. I'm not trusting the kidnappers. I don't trust kidnappers at all. And I wouldn't allow kidnappers to make me betray my family. Some kind of way my family would know what's going on. Point blank period. Um, so they didn't say what the Dubois want Hakeem to do to keep the secret of, you know, Bella's okay. But, you know, that will of course be next season. This this is basically a setup for next season. Um I'm happy Lucius finally got rid of Juliana. <sighs> Nia Long, I loved you in Boys in the Hood. I loved you in um The Best Man. Loved you in Love Jones. Loved doing a lot of different movies. I did not love you on um, Empire. Did not. And not even because of your character. It was something off. Um, it was something off. And I'm pretty sure it was, it was the stuff between you and Taraji. Um, it kind of came through on film a little bit. Because as I said in the, in the previous um, video. You could tell they did not shoot any scenes together. Every time they were talking, you would only see the back of the other. You would see the back of the head. And it wasn't. They had stand-ins. Like, you can see. If you pay attention, you can see that. Um, so, I'm happy Lucius got rid of you. I'm happy that Lucius realized that you cost him $10 million and that you were a snake. And that he just needs to cut you loose. And, of course, you're going to say, I'm going to get back at you. I hope she never comes back to the show. I really do. I just hope that does not happen. Um, happy that... Lucius and Cookie confess they love each other. They're trying to be better people, better parents, better human beings. Love it, love it, love it. It's about time because the whole battle thing was getting very old. Um, it was getting on my nerve. <sighs> Happy that Cookie caught off whatever she was going to do. Well, we knew that she, was, she hired Shine to cause a ruckus to cause the casino thing to fall apart. So I'm happy she was able to call that off once she realized that Jamal and Lucius weren't doing Lucius Inferno. They were doing when Cookie met Lucius and when Lucius met Cookie have it go. But it was more about that. The family being back together, doing Jamal's album, and they kind of tricked her into thinking they weren't doing that. So that was a good thing to see her and Lucius have that connection, see her and the boys have that you know, mom, we love you, so that was all good and dandy. And then Lucius and Cookie decide they want to, you know, go and see the world, which is fine. Um, giving the keys of the kingdom to Andre because, of course, Jamal's an artist. Hakeem's an artist. And the shady dealings that Andre had planned, 
in his head, he's like, crap, you know, I, I, I have to stop it. So, Cookie's already stopped her plan. So, when Andre tries to go stop his plan, Shine like, nah, bruh, it's going down. Leave it alone. This is what's going to happen. So, as Cookie and Lucius are going to their car, of course, Andre runs out like, don't get in the car, and the car explodes. I didn't expect the car explosion. I'm happy no one got shot. I'm tired of people shooting people. Um... So that was a different way to have it be a tragedy. Um, at Because every season there's some kind of tragedy. There's an implication of a tragedy. There's a possible tragedy. Is always something from, you know, one time, you know, Hakeem got, not Hakeem. Well, no, one time Hakeem got kidnapped. One time, you know, Rhonda with the falling down the stairs and losing the baby. Um, the whole thing of Anika and or Rhonda falling off a cliff. It turned out it was Rhonda. Um, Jamal being shot. So every season it's been some kind of, one of them almost dying. So this was a different way to have it, you know, be an ending of something's wrong. So when it was going off, I'm looking like, oh, damn, we not going to see what happened. If Lucius is dead, we know he, we know he, we know he didn't get blown up. But he was at least blown back by the fire, uh, by the explosion. But, lo and behold, it shows three months later and Lucius has been in a coma for three months. And who was his doctor? Demi Moore. Now, Demi Moore looked 30. Demi Moore has to be, like, 70. I mean, come on now. She did strip tease when I was a teenager. And she was an adult then. She has to be, like, 70. She looks good. Like, she's a one white woman who aged really well. You know, I'm a Demi Moore fan. So I was just like, oh my gosh, I don't know if she's had any work done. But she looks fantastic. Um, so, you know, she's the nurse. And I'm like, I guess that means she'll be on next season. Who knows or whatever. But Lucia starts to come out of his coma. He's starting to wake up. So he sees his children. He sees Cookie. You know, Cookie, who he's in love with. And they've confessed their love for each other. They want to be together. And how he's giving the, giving the kingdom to Andre. And, you know, he's him and Jamal are on good terms. Him and Hakeem's on good terms. And he wakes up. And what happens? He has no memory. He don't know them people. He even got amnesia. It's a storyline. I think that's a good storyline for next season. If one of the main characters doesn't have a memory. Because it can go so many different ways. As far as who does he trust. Has this doctor, Demi Moore's character, has she been talking to him this whole time? And is this the only person he's going to remember? Is he not going to remember that his mom is crazy? Is he, you know, is Juliana going to come back and say, I'm really your wife? Like, what does, you know, it, it's a lot that can go, it's a lot of ways they can take this Lucius have amnesia three months later situation. I do wonder how they're going to explain this three months later thing with where is Bella? Where's Anika? They didn't touch on anything except Lucius is, is alive. He's awake. He has amnesia, but there's so much other things to fill in in the middle. So I'm actually very excited to see next season. Um, so I think I liked the last 20 to 30 minutes of the episode versus the first 30 minutes of the episode. The first 30 minutes was kind of boring to me. Um, for me, it got interesting once he cut um, Juliana out the picture. That's when I was like, okay, I can get into it now. Um, so, that is my entire, entire review of Empire. I hope you guys liked it. I will still be doing the reviews, even though Empire is on, um, break until the fall when the new seasons come along. So, please still check back for new videos. Thanks so much. Hope you subscribe and peace.